Same thing. Mm. So, Jerry, why did you change your uh, name from Jericho to Jerry? And um, I think because of first day, uh, I changed it to Jerry because um, well, naman, I've always been Jerry. Mm. Yung family ko lang talaga yung, mm. yeah. Like they, only my family is the one that calls me Jericho. And I think, yeah, I think it felt natural na I'd be known as Jerry. And I think because in Jerry, like also, I think strategically because um, because my Jerry ko na na kilala like Jerry or Salas. And if I think about Jerry, well, top of my mind, I can't think of any. And I don't know. I think it's also for me in my, parang it fits me more because Jerry is very, I think like. <clears throat> Innocent, young, ah, yeah. Jerry, or like, oh, yeah, I think innocent. it fits my image. Jerry is old. How do you spell it? J-E-R-I. J. Uh, well, yung, what, uh, what they, um, what ABS wanted was J-E-R-I. But normally, kasi I'm J-E-R-R-Y. But I, I'm okay naman with J-E-R-I. J-E-R-I. Yeah. J-E-R-I. Yeah. Uh, so just Jerry or Carrie Jerry 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 so you're, you're part of the yung gagawin <laughs> Apo, um, so we're gonna be presenting po the the my fair lady representatives tapos ako po yung opening na kakanta which will welcome them one by one so habang naglalakad sila pa so kumakanta po tapos ayun tapos we'll, be, we'll also be having like a little dance with them while I sing so yun po yung part ko po in this whole program <coughs> Any make up after you sing as as singing to them. Na para as they walk down. As they share it ko po sila. So as they walk down, tapos as they're presented one by one, kumakanta po ako. So I Ah, yung first is ano, ah Bibi. So I wanted to do one one na my genre, tapos one na mas kilala. Um so Bibi and then the second one is can take my eyes off. <coughs> so, and so very, but uh, I guess I can love you, my song. Tapos presenting them kasi yun ko. Wanted to be very relatable, but also very elegant. Bini bini is the new one. Apo, kay Zach the Buddha. Zach the Buddha. Zach the Buddha. Apo. Ano yun? Ano yun? Ano yun? Ano yun? Ano Isayaw mo ako Dahil isa gitara mo lang Pagkakaroon ko Rainmakers naman sa akin Rainmakers naman sa akin Tapos nun ah Paano ka napili dito? Paano ka napili dito sa Did you audition? Kasi po yung Yung mom ko po She's one of the ones that manages the show Yung for the church, very involved in the church here. So, the program, uh, they also look for a performer. So they asked me to perform. And I'm actually in the ball. Like I've I've been performing, been in this church for a long time since. Malapit lang naman ako dito. So this is where we go to mass. This is where we hold all of our events. This is our parish. This is our parish. So whenever there's an opportunity to perform, I perform na wala so na you bosses mo na hacha talaga na pagiging church boy mo kasi you sing sa church talaga um actually ano po ah when I was interestingly enough po when growing up iba iba po yung talagang bosses ko so when I when they found that I could sing I was around eight years old so when when they found out they my mom enrolled me to to have lessons with a Madrigal singer, under the Madrigal singer, she is Luz Morete Martinez, so she was from UP also, conservatory. So, since Madrigal singer siya, yung background niya classical, naging mas classical yung voices ko as a kid. So, naging boy soprano ko kasi napakataas yung voices ko. So, yung mga kinakanta ko is mga Amapola, Granada, yung mga... Like, those are yung mga plays as well, yung mga ganun. Tapos, 
um, when under her, I actually also addition for a uh, play because it came to King and I here in the Philippines. Mm-hmm. So I auditioned as one of the kids. Then uh, the director actually approached my, me and my mom and he said, I think, uh, I think you should enroll him in the music school of Ryan Kayabiab, so under Ryan Kayabiab. So for me, naman, I was like, okay, why not? Diba? So I was around 11, uh, I was around 12 or 13 at that time. So when I enrolled in the music school of Ryan Kayabiab, mas naging uh, Broadway uh, yung bosses or mga play. So West Side Story, Fiddler in the Roof. Um, also, kinakanta namin yung mga songs ni Ryan Kebyab. So, mas naging parang theater boy yung bosses. And then, at the same time kasi po, I was also in high school. So, I also joined a pop-up acapella group naman. So, that's where we would uh, compete in acapella competitions against other schools. So, mas naging pop-ish. Pop yung bosses. And during that time also, I would I was also joined, I also joined the Ateneo uh, church choir, the community choir. So whenever there was a mass, kumakata din ako sa mass. So, naging parang halo ng mass and pop ng songs. And when I got to college naman, that's when I told my mom, Ma, parang I want to perform as a soloist naman. Okay. Tito Ben, yung sa turno. Um, kasi po, uh, we wanted a way to put me uh, put my name out there. Mm-hmm. So, um, dalawa po siya, gusto kita and di ka mag-isa. Um, he wrote the song po, um, tapos he sent it to me. Tapos, um, since, ano po, um, he made me listen to it, tapos he asked me if I wanted to change something. Mm-hmm. So, um, inayos ko lang yung arrangements and then I changed a few of the yeah, melodies mm-hmm. para mas maging pop-ish modern na para para mas dating sa I guess sa youth or mas dating sa age yeah. ko kasi po ay nga pero yung mga songs na binigay niya is more on I guess yung kinaman say na, na his old but para uh, more of his time mm-hmm. so, so sir ready nang ilabas ng dalawang songs ato um actually may up po uh, ready naman po siyang ilabas uh, um so that's why um we we marketed it to the different studios mm-hmm. tapos uh, thankfully ABS-CBN was interested and mm-hmm. they I thought like we got so they offered a contract and then um, just a while ago mm-hmm. I signed it tapos, ah, kanina. Opo, kanina lang po tapos I sent it na to them so yung sinabi po nila um, since ayun po, I'm, I'm also working on my own compositions <coughs> and my own songs um, we're going to first uh, have a listen through with all of the songs but because as of now I think I have around seven of my own compositions na um, well since ako lang yung nakakarinig mm. so I want to get their opinion as well so mm. ayun po uh, they're going to listen to each of them tapos they're going to see which one they think would best fit my image which one they think should be released first Carrier single uh, po, as my single na first dapat single. ito yung magla-launch sa okay. akin launching single uh, po, okay. para ito yung ah si mm-hmm. Jerry, yung song so, na yan ah si Jerry yan mm-hmm. yung mga ganun so ayun po since uh, we're at the start of the the mm-hmm. like the mm-hmm. partnership in po star para, magic artist na Ah, Star, Star, Star Music. Music. I Star Music. I Star Music. I T. 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 I and then one as a sorry, see? One as a see, composer. So composer, co-producer and talent. Sino yung present doon sa contract sa iyo? Sino yung present doon sa iyo? Witness ng contract. Sino yung one? Or executive? Ah, hindi ko pa yung names nila. Wala na manalo mo doon? Ah, wala ko siya eh. Kasi yung manager ko pa yung may kilala sa sa ano po eh, sa mga contacts, mga tao na nandun. So, 
I I wasn't really ever <laughs> helped no the names yet boy. Sorry. Very cool magarti. Yeah, no she don pamilyan. But I think for me mas gusto kong makita si like uh, I guess like Mateo. Oh, why why not Mateo? Mm-hmm. Or like oh, si <laughs> Dati si Liza pero nasa Korean Korean ano na yata siya eh. Yeah, Korean Liza. Liza. Oh, okay, si Liza and si James sana pero they 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 in their own uh label na yata. Mm-hmm. But I also like uh Catherine, uh si Daniel, yung mga ganun. So yeah, I mean like since I grew up watching them then I want you know it would be cool to act to them if ever. Kahit yung mga yung mga roles ko like as a friend yung mga friend nila or kapatid nila yung mga ganun. Pero sa mga senior sa kinis bumahol ako la 